Hello, I'm Suzanne from Boat Shed Medway in Boat Shed Kent. Uh, today I'm having a look at the interior of this Westerly 36. She dates from the Jubilee year. Um, and let's have and see, uh, have a look and see what this boat has got to offer. So, we've come down the companionway. Obviously, if you remove the steps and lift this up here, you will uh, see the engine underneath. We're going to start on the port side rear and a very good sized pilot berth here. You've got access to the engine via the side as well. There I see a master switch, um, also a window there so you can get some light and ventilation in there. And repeated on the starboard side. Same as the storage underneath those cushions and behind as well, I believe. Again, another access to the engine and another window. So, looking at the starboard side, good size galley. On boats of this kind of quality and era, you find places to grip hold of all around the boat, which is uh, additional extras these days if you buy new boats. There's plenty of stowage. There is a cool box here, which has also got um, a freezer element, but the element needs servicing. There's a two burner gimbal stove here with grill. It looks like there might just be an oven in actual fact there. Double bowl sink, storage underneath, of course. Here we have a very good size nav station. I do like nav stations when the table and seat face the way the boat's going. You can keep all your charts in there. Again, there's storage all the way around. Here we've got electric panels. You'll be able to have a look on www.boatshedmedway to see all the still shots of this vessel and obviously a write-up showing you the navigational instruments and more details overall. Here we have the main saloon area. As you can see, massive table there and a very good sized saloon. Fit all family members and friends around here with leg room to boot. There's storage behind the cushion backs, underneath the cushions and on all sides too. So she's not only a very sea kindly vessel for passage making, but she also has plenty of room and stowage too. So as we walk forwards, on the starboard side, we have the heads with the taps there, shower there, and obviously shower tray, and stowage for your toiletries, and a little window there too. Moving forwards, we have got what looks like a decent sized forward cabin. We are on the water at the moment, so we are getting rocked around because the boat has just gone by. Whoops. So there's an infill there, which you can remove if you need to move around the area easier. There is a an access for anchor locker there too. We've got the storage here. Obviously windows and a hatch, another window. There is the cockpit table. And here is a full size wardrobe as well. If you'd like to have a look at this vessel, go to www.boatshedmedway.com and you'll find contact details there as well as the full advert for this boat. Ideal for families, 
uh, could be used, was used, I think, once as a liverboard as well, due to the huge amount of space, both in the cockpit area and inside the actual vessel. This is our McDonald. Thank you for watching. If you do have a boat to sell, we are very short on boats at the moment. Motor boats, fishing boats, barges, you name it. We are very short of stock. So we'd be delighted to hear from you um, and hope to be able to help you sell your boat as well. Thank you for watching.